those soldiers in Xeon, so we are certain to be victorious in this war! Fetty crew uh, on the Astrius. Y'all had just massacred some people in the HLVs, and Mad Gun came back not so great and had a bit of a meltdown and then was put in the brig for his recovery. Starting to crack? Yeah, that, that's the short of it. And we're on our way to Luna 2, I believe was the last place that we were heading toward. And on there, there will be actual medical staff to see to Mad Gun and uh, possibly get him checked out, put him on some drugs or something. Ooh, uh, uh, drugs. And hopefully, if he doesn't come around before then, you know, be roused to by the, whatever uh, medical science has to offer in uh, Luna 2. Come on, miracle science. Fix his broken brain. <laughs> so it's been a bit. Y'all are kind of now outside nearing Luna 2. But kind of want to know how it's been going for you guys. What have you been doing on the wait? It's been like a few days, possibly. What is there to do? Is there any entertainment around there? Arcade or some shit? Uh, so a lot of people make their own entertainment. Cav's been doing his Fight Club shit, uh, as you are well aware of. Okay, that's probably where I am then. I'm probably doing the Fight Club stuff. You've probably been doing Fight Club stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fair. All right. Trying to um, trying to leave a match looking, in, you know, better than the first time. Uh, that never happens. It never happens. I do start looking worse, though. So that's different. But you feel like you're getting tougher from the experience. You feel like you're getting stronger. Getting all these muscles in my face. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah <basically laughs> so fucking that. buff right now. And uh, and you feel like you've bond a bit more with uh, with Cav. You feel like through your fists connecting with each other that you've come to understand each other a little bit more. Sometimes that's the only way you can, you know? Yeah, yeah. Communicating emotions through hitting people. That's right. Flesh on flesh. Definitely healthy, <laughs> healthy oh, yeah. communication and a basis of a, of a, of a budding friendship is uh, violence. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Kat, what have you been doing on the last few days? Um, yoga and beer. Mostly alone? Um, I invited Val, but she has had a lot of things to do, apparently. She's a busy bee, that Val. Do you think she's busy or do you think she stood you up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. You know, I invited Cav, but like he gets really competitive and yoga is not about that. He keeps turning yoga into violence. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. the opposite. And also, like, if we're not, he's like, okay, well, if we can't be competitive about the yoga, we have to be competitive about the drinking. And that makes it hard to do the yoga. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. So, yeah, I've been detoxing because I've only been drinking beer. Oh, I see. <laughs> and that's mostly water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you've been uh, eating and drinking healthier than usual, I see. Ah. It's called rehydrating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Pan, right? Yeah. Yeah, Pan, the chef. Yeah, that guy's great. He hasn't been responding to my text, though, but it's fine. What's the basis of you texting him? <laughs> I guess I've just been sending him a shit ton of emojis. I just don't know if he gets <laughs> it, but I also don't know how to talk to people other than with a bunch of emojis and there isn't really like a great emoji for yoga so maybe he just isn't understanding the messages i'm sending <laughs> yeah so like you send him a bunch of emojis and like after a few hours you just get a text back being like that's cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's like LOL. oh nice lol <laughs> like very 
very much just kind of like non responses responses. It's like beer glass emoji, like the clink one, and then it's like mountain emoji, and then it's like angel emoji. I see. All right, very clear. And and his response to that is like K. Oof slash congrats, depending. <laughs> You, you have a feeling that Pan might be more up for yoga and drinking wine if you went and invited him in person. <laughs> but over these text messages, uh, the confusion is palpable. Yeah. Have we gotten any new orders or we just been? No, y'all are heading to Luna 2. That's the last order you got is just uh, basically don't go insane like Mad Gun until you get to Luna 2. Basically, the only reason I haven't invited Lone Star is because he wants to talk about stuff, and I'm not into that. <laughs> I see. I see. Mad Gun, uh, have things improved in your solitude? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any more conversation with the Zeke prisoner across the way? Uh, you cannot uh, shut him up. Okay, so he's just annoying you, like yes. he was prior. Yes. Good man. Got it. Yes. Got it. Um, his name's Nathaniel Everett. To refresh everyone's memory. Nathaniel Everett. I never asked his name, so I never paid attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fair. I think, I think, I think Lone Star got his name. Yeah. Um, I think so. I think, I think that's it. <laughs> no, I think, I think he might have given it to Mad Gun, but we're just gonna say Mad Gun probably doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Even if he gave it to him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lone Star and Cab. Y'all just had a bout. It went pretty well. Kind of as it usually does. And y'all are both cooling off after the fight. Ah, that was refreshing. Since starting this fight club, like, Cab has, like, slowly been making deals to gather supplies over to this room in the cargo hold, where it's just, like, y'all are fighting on top of cargo boxes, but there's, like, towels here, there's water here. <sighs> uh, you, you have like a miniature gym going on. We've really established something here, Cav. It's, it's quite beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. We should start charging people. You know, I didn't think about that, but, uh, you know, I guess we could. I mean, look at that crowd. Look at all that money. I don't know. Aggression, violence, those things. Oh, those things should be free to everyone, don't you think? That's beautiful, Cav. Raw, passionate. I feel like I've really connected with you. He puts his arm around you, pats you on the shoulder. Yeah, same. Feel like, you know, I used to not really understand you, but, uh, you know, I think, I think we're gonna be best friends. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's not good for you, because, uh, my last few friends... Well, they, <coughs> they uh, didn't, uh, didn't exactly make it out, but, um... Who does, am I right? Yeah, I got faith in you. I got faith in you. I got faith in you. I think you're gonna make it. I'm gonna be the one who lives? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The friend who lived. It's yeah. He, he starts nodding and, like, looking off into the distance. Yeah. I'll try yeah. my best not to die. Just for you, yeah, Kev. You, yeah, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> he stands up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pat him on the back. I'll leave you to it. I right, think we're getting to Luna too in like, I don't know, an hour or so. So should be able to get <coughs> that old man some attention. Maybe uh, patch him up. All right. That's good. I always don't get any of trouble while I'm gone. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll try not to. I walk away. Who the fuck's next? <laughs> there's uh, there's cheering and uh, someone steps up to take the- Me! Me, I'll do it! <laughs> like roundhouse kick him and he send him flying across the, the, the ring. Another! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tiny, there is a beeping in your room. Ah, what is that? <laughs> it is uh, someone trying to page you, basically, via intercom to your room. Oh, shit. Beep, 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 beep. Can they see me? Is uh, it just... If you turn on the screen, yes. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm. You can do voice only. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a voice only thing. Uh, hi, hello, this is uh, a commander dancer. The screen uh, lights up and you can see Niles. Uh, yes, uh... Dancer, I uh, need you to come and speak to me and McCaffrey about some of the 
private matters uh, before we dock into Luna 2. Uh, uh, okay. Let's report to McCaffrey's office. Sure, yes, I'll be there. How soon? Like right now? Or do I have like five minutes? Like what? As soon as possible. Okay. He closes yeah. the communications. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna quickly... I do not think I have time to shower. And let me just say, a lot of beer and a lot of yoga, that's just not... No one wants to be around me right now. Um, <laughs> I see. I see. You smelly right now. So I'm gonna quickly take a shower in the sink, and then I'll head up there. So you... um, Yeah, you can shower in the sink. You can do yourself a hobo shower. You yeah. Do a little hobo shower. Spray yourself um, down with Febreze. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking that Lone Star probably loves some Axe body spray in my room, so I was just going to oh, yeah. try that out. All right, spray yourself down with uh, the smell of vomit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I heard that girls might like it. I definitely don't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway, well, so I'm going to be did. as much as not a hot mess, even though I have to be a little bit as I show up. All right, I'm there. <laughs> Boom, done. Uh, you so you open the door and are uh, you immediately bump into Valerie. Oh, oh, uh, Lieutenant Commander. She salutes. Yes, you smell amazing. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> um, it smells like vomit mixed with sweat and more vomit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We should get the air system checked. I, maybe the filters haven't been cleaned in a while. I see. Yeah, I, I uh -huh. guess that's. I guess that you know it is recycled <laughs> air, so that makes sense. Yeah, there's like <laughs> the whole cargo docking, mm. like the, the whole cocking. Uh, the, oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> the, the, got something whole... on your mind, Adam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the smell of that axe. <laughs> <laughs> All I could think of is cack. <laughs> the, the, the whole docking bay kind of smells like bo now because of that Fight Club that's in there. So I, I guess maybe that's is probably that not helping. Happening? Oh yeah. There's no one like uh, who would shut it down. I, I mean, I heard that Niles caught wind of it, but he thinks it's good for morale, so he's letting it keep happening. Huh. All right. I'm just gauging. Uh, never, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Good <laughs> deal. I will see you later. Um, unless we're awkwardly walking in the same direction, in case just. Hang back here for like five seconds while I keep walking. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> okay, I guess that depends on where you're going. Where are you going? Uh, is it Niles' office or McCaffrey's office? McCaffrey's. I am going to see McCaffrey. I am heading in the same direction, so I will just stand here then. <laughs> just please. For yep. yep. All right. Good day to you, ma'am. Yep. You, you too. Fuck her. <laughs> 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 just lets you go and then stands there for a minute <laughs> before heading off in her own direction. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> All right, now you are at Niles and, uh, well, you're at McCaffrey's office, who you assume Niles is also going to be. Knock, 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 knock. Door opens! And McCaffrey's sitting at his desk and Niles is, like, standing next to him. Sir, uh, sir, you wanted to see me uh, sirs? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so this is uh, about your promotion. Uh-huh. Now, I've talked it over with the not... What's that smell? Ah, fuck it. Uh, um, <laughs> panic. I talked it over <laughs> with Niles, and um, I think he he feels that you should take over uh, permanently. Oh, okay. So do I need... So do I have any new orders? Like... Are we talking yeah, so, about like a lot of responsibility or like a manageable amount? Uh, you're gonna be in charge of uh, of the space anchors uh, from here on out. All right. Is there a whiskey stipend with that job, sir? I mean, you can spend your you know ship dollars on whatever you want from the ship store. Okay, but like, have you met the people that I'm supposed to be in charge of? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure I have. Pretty sure I spent a lot of time with them. And I'm pretty sure this is also my ship with plenty of Jack Daniels and amongst other variety of liquors. So, uh, McCaffrey, you know, knock yourself have out. Have I told you that you are uh, a magnificent person lately? 
Nope. But I will take that into consideration. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Socks, you're here. What's up? Hello, Dancer. Uh, trust you will do better in this role than the man you are uh, replacing. More than likely, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, I have your new orders. Okay. Do now I get to fix things still? That's a thing. You can operate on your, your mobile suits however you please. Okay. All right. I'm trying not to get power hang hungry here. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you're working with the existing repair crews so you don't step on each other's feet. Okay, that's asking a lot, but I'll, I will look within my heart and see if that's possible and get back to you. He hands you a manila folder. All right, and what is in this bad boy? <sighs> this is the medical record of a Jack Gether. Oh, shit. He delivered to the doctor at Luna 2. Um, this is going to help him in his assessment. You are to deliver your squad mate here. Hopefully, they will find some way of calming him down and putting him back in his right senses for the upcoming battle. You, you, you want to put him back out there? Eventually. Okay. This war has been going on for a long time. A lot of people have died. We're not in the place where we have the luxury of choosing who to fight for us and who gets to stay behind. Well, that's old men uh, like him are hard to come by. Uh, yeah, because they're like dead. Yeah, and you know what happens when they die? They fucking. I mean, you know, six feet in the ground, they become like maggot food. I don't know what you want from me. Other than the dying part, they are replaced by new recruits. He starts walking and pacing. Do you know the average age of the new Federation recruit within the last few months? I'm going to guess it's pretty juvenile. Indeed, 13. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, oh, wow, sir. This is not ideal for a variety of reasons. While highly disposable, uh, children are very ineffective at combat. Well, yeah, I mean, like, have you met a teenager before? Like, have you actually spent time with a teenager? They're horrible. Yep. They're, they're like the worst people that have ever lived. So I would like to avoid that. <sighs> now, up till now, your teams worked very well together, despite my misgivings. McCaffrey here, McCaffrey kind of holds up a glass to you. Uh, cheers. Is uh, still confident in your ability to do what is necessary to end this war at any cost. And I am placing my trust in you that you are the right woman to do this job. I mean, it's a big ask. It is. <laughs> um, will I try? More than I will not try, if that is, that's <laughs> going to be about as good as it gets. But, uh, you know, I haven't died yet, so I hope that I can do that for my people, too. Yeah. There is a complication to your most recent orders, however, and I should fill you in on. Oh, God. Luna 2 was attacked earlier. Not too recently, but recently enough that it's an issue. Series of detonations in its main loading bay. It's still recovering from this damage. And the Commandant in charge, a Commandant Joaquin, is doing his best in order to see this through. Now, we are getting clearance, currently in negotiations for clearance, to land at the docking bay. But Joaquin has made it quite clear that we are not going to be resupplied from Luna 2. This includes bringing any wounded, injured, or incapable soldiers of ours onto Luna 2 for their medical facilities. Okay, but isn't that the whole point of us going to Luna 2 for a uh, gather? Yes, he looks at you. So... <laughs> I, I assume you care about your friend dearly. Um, yeah. And I assume that you would help him get medical attention if he was in need of it, as he clearly is. Um, is this one of those situations where I'm supposed to read between the lines? Because I didn't wear my glasses. Yes. <laughs> I would recommend you get glasses. Okay. Um, shit. So are you saying that 
Mad Gun needs to make it there, even though we're not supposed to have him there. I don't like being this blunt about it, but yes. I mean, you got to talk to me like I'm a little bit less than a normal person. All right. I like the concrete shit. That's how I am, sir. With all respect. I prefer keeping things delicate when it comes Mm. to matters such as these. Well, who's going to help me? It's up to you who you recruit into this mission. God, that's... But do you know who I have to choose from? This seems like uh, some spy shit, and I'm I'm capable, but... McCaffrey laughs. <laughs> Don't worry. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, so- socks here will help you. <laughs> Niles looks uh, very offended. <laughs> uh, but, 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 sir, I... Uh, I and I'm like, no, 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 no butts. <laughs> You're going to help the little miss. Little. Yes, I'll, sir. I didn't quite like that last bit, but I'll let it go. We're just. Okay. <laughs> Niles is looking very upset at you. Pick who else you want to help you get together in an Alma of Luna 2. You know who would uh, never call you little miss? Lone Star. You called me worse. What? What? Okay, I guess I have to have Lone Star. I mean, like, yeah, he's pretty strong. He could, like, carry him, I guess. <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing this shit. How long do we have before we make it there? Niall says, until the next offensive uh, happens. We're not sure when that is or even what the target will be. So we have anywhere up from a day to a maximum of a week. Okay. Um, do we need anybody else? That Val, um, she seems keen. Instant Valerie seems quite cut out for this work from what I've seen. Yeah, I've really tried to um, teach her to have a thick skin. We'll see. She might shape up to be a brilliant soldier one day. Right. I'll meet you on loading bay three. Okay, I will go brief um, my team. McCaffrey? He nods to you just yeah. the glass. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, bye. hey guys it's good to be back we missed you uh we got some new patrons to shout out there's dak forehand and zachary wicks if you too would like to support dead set media and the variety of projects we're working on please consider becoming a patron on our patreon link in the description speaking of projects here's one i actually haven't talked about yet I've teamed up with a friend of mine, Jacob Dyer, to start a new podcast where he interviews complete strangers. We scoured the internet to find some of the most interesting people we could find and then simply had a conversation with them. Every interview so far has been either entertaining or oddly insightful. Being a Dead Set Media original show, you can imagine how taken aback I was to be making somewhat educational content. A Podcast with Strangers releases November 5th on all podcasting platforms. Links are in the description. And if this is something that you'd be interested in, please check it out on release and rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. That really is the best way to make new shows more visible on this huge fucking internet. And if you're not interested in this kind of show, maybe tell someone about it who might be. It's gotta be someone, right? Anyways, here's a promo. Hey, my name is Jacob and I love talking to strangers. I love talking to people about their lives, their passions, their hobbies, their beliefs, anything that makes a person tick. I want to get into people's heads and learn about them. So I thought, why not make a podcast about it? Every week, we'll talk to people from around the world about their lives, their hopes, their obsessions, their dreams and fears. Our goal is to make a podcast that isn't just fun and positive, but every listener will learn something new with every episode. We'll interview historians, content creators, vacuum cleaner enthusiasts, salsa dip experts, Star Trek mega fans, cult survivors, and a Scottish guy. Here's a little peek into what we've got so far. He's linked a picture of a woman uh, cradling, almost like the baby Jesus. <laughs> and um, yeah, in the store, they're not that big. Oh, okay. So she's got an anomaly right there. He's only putting out as much heat as a space heater. So. Now I dry my hair with a space heater because it oscillates and I don't. The guest we had was just incredible. We had Olivia Coleman as the mum. Actually, I got to direct her in person in London. N-A-U-D-L. 
A N B twenty three. You know, I can drive a car. They actually give me a license to drive a car with this brain. You know that? Can you vote? Yes. Get teeth sorted. Get these bad boys put back together. Yeah, yeah. Who cares about humans? You don't poop out food. If you want to join us into this voyage into the unknown, please click the subscribe button, tap the subscribe button, do whatever you need to do to the subscribe button or follow or favorite. I don't really know how social media works. I'm old or I don't know. Click the button that says you're here for the ride and we really hope to see you there. Subscribe. Thanks guys and enjoy the rest of the episode. All right, let's go see Mad Gun. All right, you go down there. I'm going to gloss over that. You've probably been given access as well. So you go through the proper security measures to get to the brig and you arrive outside of a cell and uh, that, well, the designated cell that Mad Gun's in and across from it, you can hear a man rambling. So then I was uh, thrown out of my childhood home with not a cent of my name. And uh, well, you know how hard, you know, labor is for a child when you can't qualify for, you know, some of the basic stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, it became a whole affair and the man just rambles on and on. Hey, can you like shut up? <laughs> ah, he puck, pokes his head up through the, the little grate. Uh, who are you? None of your fucking business. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack. I stumble to the door. Gather, do you know who I am right now? Yes, Commander. And my name is Commander what? Commander Moore. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right, old old guy. I'm uh Gather. We are going to go somewhere, and it's kind of like, it might be a little sneaky. Are you down for a mission? This is going to be like the time we took Tech Sergeant Murphy's alcohol without him knowing? Something like that. Can you be cool? I can accomplish that, Commander. All right. Um, I will come back later to collect you and, you know, just be ready to... Be ready. Tiny, you hear a series of footsteps walking down the hall. They arrive at the same cells that you do, but they're not going for together. They're going into the Zeke cell. And you can go like, hey, 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 now. All right. I, I, I'm, I, no, hey, don't be so right. And then they start like manhandling them and like dragging them out, dragging them away. Hey, it's not necessary. Ah, you're going to dislocate something. Holy shit. Fuck. Just hear them being hauled off into the distance. Gather, does that guy, like, ever have an off button, or... Uh, he never shuts up. He's been driving me nuts. I've been trying to get ready for this mission we're going on, and he just won't shut the fuck up. Well, he's gone now, so I, I would take a nap. It's a good plan. All right, well, I'll come back later, bud. All right. All right. I presume next you're going for Lone Star. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I just really don't like this fight ring stuff it's just smelly <laughs> it does smell down <laughs> it is it is it is putrid uh there's also like five men on the floor clearly ko'd and nursing wounds lone star stands at the center of what appears to be a ring who else wants some wait hey lone you smell star. that smell of victory like every woman's dream come to life i turn around oh commander dancer it's you God dang it. Okay, <laughs> hey, um, I need to talk to you. All right, what's up? As your commander. Yes, commander. This is my intense talk tone. All right, this is my intense pose. I'm posing intensely. Okay, like two things. First of all, you got to shut this down. I just found out we don't have the resources to, like, doctor these men. This is doctoring these men, commander. No, no. <laughs> I, first of all, I am your commander, so you got to do what I say. Aw. All right, guys. And, like, I get what you're doing, man. I'm boosting these guys' morale. Shut it down. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, we can ask Pan to send everyone home with an applesauce and a Gatorade, but, like, you got to shut it down. Applesauce. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We gotta wrap it up. You did great today. 
everyone gets free pudding on pan. <laughs> like the, the crowd cheers. There is only applesauce. Some type of pudding sh uh, consistency. Like, just go. Just go get it. They all start running to the cafeteria. It's something in a cup. You have a Smush. feeling that you probably have caused Pan to have a panic attack somewhere at some That's point in time. not my problem right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lone Star, can you All put right. a shirt on so I can talk to you seriously? Oh, shit. Yeah. I put on my shirt and my pants. Oh, my right. <laughs> she was respectful enough to not look down there. She didn't know I wasn't wearing pants. I just, it doesn't interest <laughs> me. It's fine. Um, We've got to go on a secret mission all right all right what's the mission so i've just been told that we are going somewhere that is not welcoming of us have we been That's in this situation normal. before <laughs> it's Probably. like everywhere we go <laughs> <laughs> at least we know this time yeah um, that's different yeah, uh, you know, we're trying on some new hats. It's fine. Uh, we got to take Mad Gun to get help, but we've been told that we are not going to be allowed help. So I'm not sure what the plan is, but oh. uh, you're going to help me? Okay, yeah? so we're just sneaking him into like a group of patients or something? I guess. I've got this like medical file, so we go to the guy that this is supposed to go to, and that's what we do. All right, whatever gets him help. Let's do That's it. That's what we do. All right. Good plan. Uh, maybe take a shower. <laughs> okay. And um, I would really bribe the people who are like part of the cleanup crew, and I would give them whatever you have to get them to come down here and uh, assess the... That's a lot of blood and piss on the floor. I've got some teeth I've collected from my victims. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a fucking orc for 40k. I got teeth. I got teeth. <laughs> There's 20 teeth in for you. <laughs> we can make those into friendship bracelets later, man. Aww. We got something else to do now. All right, I put them neatly back into the little Ziploc bag. Put it in my pocket. All right, get your shit together. And I don't mean like literally get shit together because I'm afraid you would. You thought I was going to give shit to like gather or something? Um, this is not a productive conversation anymore. <laughs> Take a shower and meet me back at the place where we meet in like, I don't know, 15. All right. Sounds good, Commander. 15 minutes pass and I assume your shower was successful. Roll for shower. No. Um. <laughs> Hopefully both of us. Jesus Christ. I can't. I'm I can't rolling for shower. Forever. I don't rolled roll seven. For, don't roll for shower. It's too late. I rolled seven. No. A <laughs> mediocre shower result. All right. Well, okay I also shower. caked it in Axe body spray, so now it's a success, right? Successful shower. Yeah. <laughs> Depending. Mm -hmm. Ah, smell of victory. Trashy white girls are attracted to you, but everyone else is repelled. <laughs> I just really hate Axe body spray. <laughs> I mean, it <laughs> does so it. much. I will it say their so hair gels cool. kind of smell nice. Oh yeah, like their pomade and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I like the Old Spice though. They smell good. I like Old Spice. Old Spice good. All right. You arrive at the uh, basically Loading Bay uh, B3. Loading Bay 3, not B. What the fuck? All right. So you arrive there, and there's a small little shuttle that you would take from this ship to get to other ships and stuff. And next to it is Niles and a Zeke prisoner who is uh, handcuffed and has a bag over his head. Do, do we need to collect the other guy, or...? Oh, did you already get... Mad gun? Uh, I, I, he's not with me now, but I could. Let's assume that you guys went and got him. Why can't we go forgot me? I can't believe <laughs> right. you got him. He's been, he's, he's here. <laughs> there he is. Right here, my best friend. <laughs> you forgot a mad gun. Oh my god. You shouldn't have said anything, Adam. You're like, all right, I think the end of the session. All right, you guys made it. Where's Mad Gun? <laughs> yeah, where's Mad Gun? Oh, shit. Okay. That would have been funny. That's no, fine. Things get left when y'all are like, when, when you like skip time for yeah. convenience sake. Yeah. You did like a little I assumed we scooped him up. So, yeah, it makes sense that you have him there with you. 
All right, so you guys arrive uh, with Mad Gun in tow, and uh, yeah, so there's that little transport ship. You have Niles, and then there is uh, a Zeke prisoner of sorts. Who's this guy? Is this the talking head? This is our way into uh, Luna 2. What's your name? He doesn't know you're talking to him because he has a bag over his head. Hey, prisoner guy, what's your name? Don't talk to him. He can't hear you anyways. Was he deaf? No, I've dampened his ears with muffs. Hey, hey, prisoner guy. I'm just kidding. No. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have him hearing the plan. For all he knows, he's being carted off to be executed. Oh, so he's probably, you know, in good shape. He's in good mood. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take him into the back of that carrier. And execute him. No. No. Oh. And I'm going to purposefully slip up, allowing him to get the carrier, take it out of here, into Luna 2. We're then going to take that other carrier. He motions down to the next loading bay. We're going to take that shuttle and give chase. And he's our excuse. I like it. Any questions? Yeah, so we're going to be in the second shuttle, yeah? Yes, I need y'all to wait over there. Okay, all right. Look at you doing something. Wow. Wow. All right. Just follow this shuttle until it arrives there. We should be fine. All right. All right. We'll be over here. Sir, don't fuck up. You see Niles and the prisoner, uh, Nathaniel Everett, be led into that shuttle A, or call it. Shuttle B, y'all load up into it. It's a small shuttle and basically has a pilot, co-pilot seat and like a mm. space in the back for like wow. maybe like uh, four people. Not, it's not, not big at all. And shuttle A, you presume, is identical to it. And from the, uh, uh, who's piloting? First off, I guess. Me. And co-piloting? Dibs. Uh, we yeah. used to have a guy for that. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and bad gun in the back seat. All right. All right. So from the, uh, the window of your shuttle, uh, you can see shuttle A, and you see Niles and uh, the Zeke go into the back. And then you see the shuttle turn on and power on. And then suddenly it kind of wavers a bit. And you see the flash of a few gunshots. The shuttle then leaves immediately. It starts going into Luna 2. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so you presume the plan worked, maybe? Is that is that what the plan was? Were y'all clear <laughs> on that? <laughs> that that's what was going to happen? Uh, really it's a little know. different than he explained it. Uh, I guess we should just roll with it. Okay, let's go. Who has a weapon? Got two of them right here, Commander. Hell Got yeah. Them. Does he have? He has two fists. He means just, yeah. He means I hold my fists up too and like fist okay, bump Okay, but him. like, do we have any long range weapons? I'm fist bump him back. No, yeah. the most you would have on you here would be your sidearms. Yeah, that sucks. But the shuttle probably does have a single uh, rifle. Hey, look, there's a rifle right here. Okay, who's better? Y'all rock, paper, scissors for whoever's the better shot. I think you're a better shot, Mad Gun. Here you go. Uh, who's Mad Gun? No, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh. uh, together. It's like, I'm co-pilot. <laughs> Who the fuck's Mad Gun? <laughs> I don't know, Adam. Do, do I have that name yet? <laughs> what? Mad Gun? Yeah. Uh, I think you... Uh, it's a pew. Ooh, you can I be the one yet? who gave you your nickname? Oh my god. No, nah, I'm gonna say I have it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not, I don't really like rifles, but I mean, it's up to you. All right, stop being girlfriends about it, and someone just make a decision. I look at him and blush a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you always were the better shot, Max. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you give chase. Cat, you can see that there's an incoming call on your comms as you make your way. Uh, now that you leave the ship, by the way, and the Asterius is docked inside Luna 2. And there are, like, crews around and other ships in the bay and such. And you can see the shuttle basically going to basically uh, one of the uh, areas that have a vacuum. And uh, that would be, like, the interior of Luna 2, which is, would be the base proper, where you don't need to wear a suit or anything. All right, y'all just follow me. We're going to go that way. You notice on your console that a call is incoming. Uh, hello. This is the docking authority at Luna 2. 
Uh, we need your code for clearance. The first shuttle launched from your ship does not have a code for clearance into the bay. Do you have the code? They're also not responding. That is a little worrisome, sir. I can't deny that. Uh, but yes, I do have that. My commanding officer, Lieutenant Commander uh, Niles Argyle, sir, has the clearance. I am just following him, tra- like uh, guarding the transport, if you will, of a fugitive. Like, well, I don't know if fugitive's the right word, of a prisoner that we are transporting to this Luna 2. Who cleared you for this transport? We did not accept a prisoner transfer. Well, that is a big goof on my co- my superior officer, sir. I am just a humble person who follows orders. <laughs> they get very frustrated. Okay, okay, we're accepting it. Thank you, sir, and I hope that you have a terrific day. <laughs> They just seem pissed and they close the comms. Sounds like they're going to have a terrific day. Man, Sounds I like hope their Sox is going to have a shitty conversation <laughs> later. Not my fault. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. And also, things seem to be not right. So we're going to get into some shit. I just can tell. You go. Uh, the you you set the uh, shuttle down in the uh, in the in the appropriate landing the appropriate landing area. And you see the shuttle A set down before you guys. Now there is a, a this is a vacuumed area. So once the, the hangar closes, uh, it basically uh, starts recompressing the area. And once they're clear and uh, and they, like there's air outside to the right uh, r- right amount of uh, air to nitrogen to, to oxygen, et cetera, et cetera, you get like an indication on your little panel that hey, uh, all's good. And you see that the shuttle in front of you is still shut. No movement from it. Yeah, none of this feels like... Y'all were there when we heard the plan. Was this the plan? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's fine. I guess we'll just, you know, stay vigilant. All right, so shuttle A is uh, just sitting there. Uh, hello? No response. Do, do, do. Commanding officer, sir. You can see that Luna to Port Authority, effectively, is arriving. They're uh, probably going to arrest you guys. The fuck? Or detain you. All right. So nine times out of ten, Niles is probably all right. Why don't we just keep going before we can't? Worst case scenario, something happened and Niles and a prisoner got loose. Best case scenario, he is just stalling with the prisoner so we can get gathered to somewhere medical, yeah? Well, you're the commander, and the smell of both of our Axe body spray in this very small contained environment is really getting to my mind. So I think uh, anything anything goes for me. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, your call. What are you guys going to do? We are just going to keep moving. Do I know where to go based off of the file I have on my person? You would know roughly where medical is, uh, yes. But I, I will say this, though. You don't have an excuse at the moment to get to medical. And Port Authority's here. So you would just be, like, running to medical. And it would be very but obvious. what if one medical. of us was injured? Aha, okay. Now you're thinking. All right, so... <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to tell you guys too much, but uh, yes, you're, you, that is that is, that right, is the correct direction you are taking it. Okay, um, but also, on. Niles had a plan. <laughs> now he glossed over it, and he's an asshole who doesn't. He was tell grieved. You to... That's not my fault. Yes, I told him very... I was a concrete person. Yes, he's very vague. <laughs> so you can't read between the lines oh with him. God. I fucking told him not my fault. I told him my so, situation. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but I will say you are in the right direction. But uh, yeah, there's possibly other things to to do here other than uh, beating up co-pilot or breaking your arm. Yeah, co-pilot is a ghost. So I, you know. Uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hey, You're I have co- been doing the fight club, though. I probably already look like I'm in critical condition. You're co-pilot. Lone Star. Lone Star, the (coughs) co-pilot. Yeah. Okay. (coughs) Who has a knife? Uh, Right here. I hand her my knife. 
I'm just gonna take the knife and cut the shit out of myself. Oh Why? shit! <laughs> Oh I have God. to go to medical and they have to help me right now. <laughs> yes, but, uh, wow, card. I just wow, enabled God, an emo bitches. kid. Oh my God. This is, I mean, what else was I supposed to, someone else had to get her. I, I'm the leader. I oh just, shit, we got a, we got a bleeder over here. Ow. Okay. Um. I drink a lot, so I'm going to die faster. She's been drinking. She's going to die faster. <laughs> oh my God. If okay. you don't want me to Just bleed out, like water. I need medical, and everyone needs to come with me now. <laughs> oh my god! Or I'll stab right. you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, not the. Did last anyone part. see not her cut herself, part. or can we lie and say she cut herself on accident? Uh, you could lie and say you did it on accident. I would assume that that is what's yeah. Most people would assume you wouldn't do it to yourself. Yeah, obviously. Who well, would do that? Well, if they didn't that? see her do it, yeah. I was just making sure no one just watched yeah. her straight up All slice right. her. Oh, wrist. maybe I should act like I'm in pain. Ow. Oh <laughs> shit. Hey, we got a bleeder over here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Horrible wreck. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So the port authority comes to kind of detain you guys, uh, <laughs> and y'all exit the shuttle, shuttle like that, screaming that, and they're like. <laughs> Uh, get, get her to medical. Get her to medical. And then they start taking you to medical while applying pressure to your wounds, cat. And then also Mad Gun. His bleeding is in or uh Gather, his bleeding is internal. Uh and they, This they guy look, is he's shooken up, man. He's shooken up. They look skeptical at, hey, at Mad Gun. Mad Gun, pretend like you're shooken up, you know? Pretend. I can't stand the side of blood. <laughs> I mean, he's hurt. Really hurt. The Port Authority people just kind of Roll your eyes, like keep keep an eye on them while they're there, and then uh, takes Mad Gun, uh, like uh, escorts Mad Gun as well. Like, all right, you have some questions to answer. They they say toward you, Lone Star. <laughs> awesome, uh, I'm great at this. <laughs> while <laughs> while uh, Tiny and Mad Gun are being like escorted to medical, uh, Tiny in a bit of a rush, Mad Gun in uh, not really a rush. You see that the Port Authority has like surrounded the uh, the shuttle A, and uh, the shuttle opens up, and you you can see Niles is basically on the floor of the shuttle. Oh God! <laughs> and oh, God. The, and the Zeke has Niles's gun and aims it at the Fetty soldiers. He fires a few shots, but no one really seems to be that affected, and the Fetties open fire and riddle him with bullets. They then go in and start checking on Niles and confirming the kill. No! I run to Niles, too. Niles! When you start to break out to run to Shuttle A, the Commander! others stop you. The other two stop you. Oh, shit. Look, you didn't have clearance to be here in the first place, all right? I don't know who greenlit your prisoner transfer, but it's went to shit. Clearly something's fucking going on here. Yeah, obviously. I'm just following orders here. Tiny and Mad Gun, you are now effectively going through hallways now, so you don't see the rest of this. Lone Star, they are taking you in the opposite direction. Ah, uh, am I handcuffed again? They are handcuffing. Them. Ah, it's like every five minutes, me and these handcuffs. They see like marks. You are being led to basically an interrogation room. Oh kind boy, like a, another interrogation room. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's 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 off of a lar like a large kind of like briefing conference room. I cheated my way through academy, so I didn't have to answer questions anymore, and that's been like half my fucking career. In there, you see someone of the rank of commandant. He turns to you. And uh, he looks kind of upset, very angry. You're going to have to answer a lot of questions if your commander's dead. <sighs> Welcome to Luna 2. Thanks. I'm Commandant Joaquin. Dead, dead medium. Good.